she understood why it is so powerful that you don't need to touch the web browser you don't need to touch your cloud console and i'll show you also in the cloud run where it is deployed actually so we'll understand okay so it deployed this website hello all welcome to tech capture so in this video we are going to explore a google anti-gravity which is a brand new agentic development platform released by google so it just been a two days google released this anti-gravity and it is exploding across the internet we'll see why it is exploding how it is different from other coding assistant how it is different from cursor how it is different from copilot what makes it extra special that it is just exploding over the internet within just two days so i'm not going to talk about it much we'll just go and explore this so we'll just first download in our system and we'll start working with the anti-gravity okay so let's go to my screen so i am on my anti-gravity home page and you can see here you can easily download it it is completely free it's just like your google drive or you are using the gemini now you just need an active google account or gmail account for now and you can just use it with the your gmail account so i'll just download it and i will show you from the scratch okay so i'll just download from mac os you can download it for windows or based on your operating system so once it is downloaded i'll just install it it is the simple way to install just like you install your other application on your mac or windows devices now we are having anti-gravity installed in our system so just open it and start exploring okay so let me just open once it is open you should be able to log in with the your google account okay so it is asking authentication required please sign in so i'll just go to the login with google and i'll authenticate with my google account okay so now you can open anti-gravity as you have successfully authenticated so let me just go here and i'll just first ask what it can do for me just to understand the capability because it agent comes with some persona so let's see and as it comes with gemini 3 so it is having the thinking capacity you can see it is just thinking like a human and the output will be different so here is the four second it took about thinking and this is the thinking and now you can see the actual output from here i am anti-gravity and advanced ai coding assistant designed by google deepmind and it is having plan and architect capability so it's not just a coding it is just complete planning architecturing the solutions coding and building the solutions you can see explore and understand the code base do the research it execute and verify it will go to the browser and test your application so let's see what it can do for me okay so as it is mentioning it can architect it can code it can build so we will just explore for next five minutes i will just give a single prompt and with a single prompt we will see what it can do for me okay so i'll deploy end to end whole my company website using a anti-gravity so we'll try to use some three-tier application web app not only the front end we'll use kind of back end using the node.js we'll use a front end with react and we'll just for now you will use the sqlite database and we'll see if it can create my interactive web app or my website and we'll also see how it can deploy on the google cloud as well okay so i'll just ask him Okay, now let's see the magic so as we put our prompt we have given some task now agent is thinking and it is crafting the tech capture online presence that is our website as we mentioned now it will do a plan and it will create some artifacts so what is artifact we'll see okay so it is analyzed and it is checking the gcloud version and it is asking me the accept why it is asking we will see that also in this video so once i accepted it is mentioning the gcloud version not found okay so defining the deployment approach
now you can see it generated the first artifact which is the implementation plan and this is the whole implementation plan now it started creating the files So you can see it is running all the required command it is creating the folders files and it is also writing the code within that files now it is generating the images with the nano banana as i mentioned to put some ai related images on my websites so it is generating some dark theme ai related images you can understand this is so powerful and it is completely free for now in future google might charge us on the subscription basis but still for the development it is a game changer in the left side also you can see the task it is performing on the right side but it is also updating the task which are completed in the left side let's say now the implement home page home page will be in progress yeah implementing the home page once it is done it will check mark this task as well so it is already architecting the solution okay we need the project setup we need design assets like images in our public folders then the page implementation now it is writing the code in the index.ejs about ejs and let's say if you need to change something you can go and comment i will show you that as well and then it will again update your code based on the comment so I am not touching any buttons, I am not touching my mouse, I am not touching keyboard, it is just doing by its own. I just given my initial prompt and just like a human thinking, a human technical expert, it is performing all the task. Now it is creating the docker file configurations as well. You can see it created a docker ignore file, it is creating the deploy.sh file as well. Okay, so it is on the verification and it opened a browser as well it opening yeah you can see the blue border it means agent is controlling my browser now it is just navigating across the multiple pages if it is working fine or not okay it's navigating to about us It should also test the three tier application like a structure like it should able to add the block delete the block add services delete services and you can see it is also recording the screen as an artifact so it means you don't need to check the logs if agent performed the correctly if agent actually uh, did the block page so it is just taking the screenshot it is recording the screen and then everything it will save in the artifacts So if you are using a for a very first time it might ask you for a browser permission or a setup a browser you have to just follow the prompt and you have to add the chrome extension it will navigate to the chrome and to add the extension after that it will just take a control of your browser now you can see creating a walkthrough artifact so it created the home page screenshot it created about a screenshot it created services screenshot block screenshot contacts okay so it created all the artifacts and now it is going on the deployment now it is just fixing that flaw which is facing issue due to the j cloud so it installing the j cloud cli now Okay, now it is asking us to authenticate using gcloud so i will tell you can authenticate to gcloud okay so i'm just testing how secure it is okay so it is asking to authenticate i'll authenticate okay it's authenticated now Yeah, so now it is running deployment.sh deploying to the cloud run 
and it is using the project sandbox yeah you can see TT sandbox 001 so now it is deploying to the cloud run so I haven't touched a Google Cloud for this deployment everything I am doing is just interacting with the agent I haven't opened the browser I haven't opened the Google Cloud console I am just interacting with the agent agent developed whole my website it tested my website it tested all the web page and then it's deploying to the cloud run now okay so deployment complete and the URL is here so it will check the URL by itself okay so we don't need to open and check the URL so it will open the URL so opening URL in browser I'll just make it allow so it is capturing the screenshot okay so let's just view live site screenshot it is capturing okay so it is somehow it is working with the browser yeah it is working with the browser here you can see this is a cloud run URL so your tech capture website is now live on a Google cloud so without doing anything just with a single prompt it developed whole website and it is completely live on the Google cloud run so you can see the capability of anti-gravity so let's say now I want to do something I want to add the functionality so I'll go here so let me just go to the walkthrough and I'll add a comment here okay so in the block section I'll add comment I need capability to add new blocks or delete older blocks okay so it will make the code changes and accordingly it will deploy my latest version again okay so just submit the comment and it will start working on the whole process again it will read the comment it will check defining the data storage so it is checking the persistent json so it is prioritizing the json file storage so we can comment okay use the sqlite file but for the local it is fine it can just use any of the local storage okay so it is creating the backend apis now so for the database it is just using the json file for the local uh, database we can ask to use the SQLite as well but it is fine for the local if you have a database URL you can give the database URL as well and it is work completely fine with that as well okay now you can see it created one admin dashboard where we can add new blocks we can delete the blocks so now you can see these blue borders it means the agent is having control of my browser and it is testing if the blog so you can see my hands are here completely it is controlled by agent it is doing the testing it added one test block now it will also test by deleting one block and it will also create artifact so artifact like your plan your screenshots your recording so it will create all the artifacts I will also show you where it is storing the artifact so just for your interest I will show you that as well where it is storing so let me just go to the finder so you can see this anti-gravity folder here this is my folder anyway so I'll just show you so here there is one hidden folder dot anti-gravity okay So here is folder dot gemini if you open a gemini and you will see the anti-gravity here you will see all the artifacts all the browser recording okay all the screenshots so everything you will find here okay so these are jpg images you will see the videos as well 
okay so there would be videos as well so you will see a lot of things lot of artifacts stored here so if you want to delete the artifact if you want to just make a cleaner version again so you will see here in the brain you will see the conversation histories okay so the pages the images implementation plan all these things you will see in the brain so this is where the file are in dot gemini which is the hidden folder okay let's go back to the browser okay what's happening okay <coughs> so now design element walkthrough of the tech capture website verifying all the pages and designed element okay what it is saying to see the changes on the live side you need to redeploy okay and it is asking shall i run and deployment script again i'll say yes please deploy so now it will deploy to the cloud and it is just asking for the confirmation so in case if it's the production environment is running it should not disturb the existing environment okay one more thing i want to show here about some feature let's say this deploy.sh you don't want every time it should ask deploy.sh then you can add it to the allow list where we can add the allow list so let's go to the setting user setting and allow list terminal command so i'll just give here let's say deploy.sh so it should not ask every time for a deploying this command okay i'll show you now if i uh, deploy again it should not ask a confirmation because i added now in the allow list so if you add something in the allow list it will not ask the confirmation again and again but let's say if some commands like deleting something deleting some files but you also want to confirm every time doing that action then you can also add in the deny list in deny list it will explicitly ask for your permission before running that command okay deployment is complete it will again generate the artifact it will testing and taking a screenshot opening the browser capturing screenshot of the live admin dashboards so let's view okay so it is here so if i go to implementation plan or artifact you will see all the artifacts here okay so here in walkthrough it has all the website walkthrough screenshots and the artifacts as well okay now you can see i have updated the walkthrough with the verification of the live admin page and my new website so it's done okay so hope you understood why it is so powerful that you don't need to touch the web browser you don't need to touch your cloud console and i'll show you also in the cloud run where it is deployed actually so we'll understand better let me just open and i will go to the cloud run sandbox project and we'll show you where it is deployed just go by last deployed so it is one minute ago okay so it deployed this website hope it is clear now what is anti-gravity and how we can use anti-gravity for a wipe coding how we can deploy the production grid application how it is secure so we'll see a more about anti-gravity we'll see about more feature more setting in our further video this was just the beginner friendly video for the anti-gravity and we'll see you again in the next video